And when it comes to right-wing media, second verse, same as the first. There's nothing extreme about individual states regulating abortion. I have a question for Sean Hannity. At the end of a long day trolling for Donnie Indictable. Indictable. How hard is it for you to sit down? Clear. <laughs> Sean Hannity loves to act tough with his karate moves. Uh, my training videos. I've been doing this now seven years. But how tough can you be when this skin tag is your sensei? Hi, what's up? Hannity carries Trump's ball sack, even when it's embarrassingly obvious he's fat Donnie's love vessel. Now Trump cannot even speak out in his own defense. He can't defend himself. My question for you, Sean Hannity, is... Do you have no shame? Supreme Court ruling was a momentous decision that returns abortion law back to the states where it belongs to individual voters. You will now decide abortion, abortion law at the state level per the 10th Amendment. A quick comment on the 10th Amendment, which Hannity and the other Fox Trumpy butt plugs love to zealously promulgate. Do you have any idea what you're talking about? I'm full-scale pro-life. I'm full-scale small government. I'm full-scale anti-entitlement. The 10th Amendment doesn't give a state the power of a woman's body any more than the state has the power to segregate or stop people from being gay or violate dozens of things that are not specifically stated in the Constitution. He rightly believes, if you believe in the Constitution, that it should be left up to the states and for the people in every state to decide. That is called, oh, democracy. That is called uh, states' rights. What about now? Fast forward. Now for an Arizona Supreme Court ruling that upholds what is a Civil War era law banning abortion. This will be fixed in the next week or two. Let not your heart be troubled. I can, I can pretty much assure that that will happen. Trump opposes the law and this ruling. Wait a second, Sean, fix what? States rights? But they're states' rights, right? I mean, every time I say states' rights, you get a little stiffy. So now you want to change that? It makes you a slut, right? Doesn't the state then have the right to enforce a law enacted during the Civil War? And why do you dirtbags always support states' rights from southern states protecting things like slavery, secession, and Confederate flags? I know the answer, as does everyone watching this. You're hypocritical racist. Nobody knows what the law is going to be. It depends on who gets elected, because somebody's going to appoint conservative judges. Trump appointed judges based solely on their anti-abortion stances to mollify these hateful men of God. And if you guys are going to go back to 1864, why stop there? Go back to the Bible and stone adulterers, gays, and cut your kids in half. But if you look at what we've done with Roe v. Wade, we did something that everyone said couldn't be done, and we got it done, and I give great credit to the Supreme Court and the, the justices for having the courage to do it. What they did is very simply give it back to the state. And I'll tell you, the Democrats are the radicals on this because they're willing to have abortions in the 7th, 8th, Ninth month. Trump lies again. There is no state that allows seven or eight or nine month abortions. Although I'm pretty sure your dad wished it was legal when you were born. And now all I say is the states are handling it. Am I the only one who laughs at this weak ass it's up to the states argument? Let's visit a few of those states, okay? Florida has banned more than a thousand books. The states are handling it. They won't allow a teacher to answer questions about gay people. And the true story of slavery, it's removed from school textbooks. The states are handling it. In Georgia, it's against the law to give someone a bottle of water while they're standing in line to vote. The states are handling it. In Mississippi, a cop can pull over any black driver if they're looking for a black suspect. The states are handling it. And Florida, Georgia, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Carolina, and Texas all have sodomy laws, but only if you're gay. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination, they shall surely be put to death. A few words about red states who are trying to turn back the clock. Have you ever driven through the South? Give it back to the state. They have a hundred times more churches and libraries. Their reading scores are so low they would be shocked if they could actually read how low they really are. And they're still debating evolution. We're going down the rabbit hole. By the way, did you ever notice that people who deny evolution exists are the very people who would benefit the most from it? If you believe in the Constitution, that it should be left up to the states. So what exactly is the new Republican position on abortion? There has to be some form of punishment. Is it up to the states? Well, then why can't Arizona use their 1864 law? I mean, it's up to the states, right? Give it back to the state. I mean, doesn't Alabama have states' rights claiming frozen embryos or people? And something that's very big in the news today through Alabama, you saw that decision. We want to make it easier for mothers and fathers to have babies. The states are handling it. That includes supporting the availability of... The states are handling it. Fertility treatments like IVF in every state. The states are handling it. And while we're at it, what's wrong with Arkansas's 13-year-old age of consent? The state States are handling it. Oh, I think I just woke up Matt Gates. Sex charges against me. States' rights is code for 
We won't be left alone. Keep colored people out of Denny's. The states are handling it. And keep them drag queens in place. And it's all right, so leave us alone. Except for those federal dollars we need to clean up these Superfund sites where corporations poison our kids with chemicals in the soil. What the hell did you just say? The Supreme Court just overruled the landmark cases Roe v. Wade and Planned Parenthood. This is a classic case of the dog catching the car. The Republicans fought for years for anti-abortion laws, and they won. But what did they win? The states are handling it. 70% of Americans favor choice. I think that by making it illegal, it... it... It makes it more dangerous for women in the world. I, I identify as pro-choice. And women showed the Republicans they were serious in the 2018 off-year elections when Trump appointed Kavanaugh, Gorsuch, and Coney Barrett. Shouldn't be the burden of every taxpayer to pay for abortion. They overturned Roe, and now these hillbilly courts and legislatures are trying to recapture the Confederacy. But it's not working out for Republicans, and this fall looks like a bloodbath for MAGA and their orange leader. The near total abortion ban that the Arizona Supreme Court revived this week dates back to when Arizona wasn't a state yet when slavery was legal, and when only white men had the vote. Many Republican officeholders and candidates scrambled to distance themselves from the law. That's why the Republicans are lying again. But this isn't new. They've been hypocritical ass monkeys since forever. Supreme Court ruling was a momentous decision that returns abortion law back to the states. What is a Civil War era law banning abortion? This will be fixed in the next week or two. Republicans have been crying about abortion for 50 years, all the while suppressing sex education, birth control, and cutting social programs for poor single mothers, calling them welfare queens. If you look at what we've done with Roe v. Wade, we did something that everyone said couldn't be done. And so now the states have the right to arrest a woman and send her to jail. Some here say they are pro-life. What about my life? Simply for dealing with a pregnancy. Someone gave her a hanger abortion. Childbirth kills more women in the world than famine, cancer, and former Baltimore Ravens players. And childbirth is 10 times more dangerous than an abortion, except for the man. But maybe there's something there. I read about an ancient tribe of Indians in Mexico that while the woman was giving birth, ropes were tied around the man's testicles, and she held them during the whole ordeal. So as she felt pain, he would too. Now, if a state wants to pass that, I'm all in. But that wouldn't apply to Republicans because... Well, you need balls to make it work. Who's with me? Hi, what's up? Time to pack it up. This isn't their Republican Party anymore. Am I wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Tick tock. You're in a lot of trouble, Donnie. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. You know, YouTube frequently penalizes my videos for taking on controversial subjects, hurting our ability to earn ad revenue, which we use to hire more hosts and make more videos. We think it's so important to make these videos now and expose a Republican cult. So please join us on Patreon. The link is in the comments. We literally can't make these without you. Thank you so much. For Really American Media, I think he's crazy. I'm Kip Franklin.